Hey guys, Brendan Reed here coming to you with a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about my top three favorite old school scents from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement. So let's get into it. Guys, as you know, I've been doing a lot of reviews on products from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. They are by far my favorite company out there when it comes to deodorants, uh, colognes, aftershaves, shaving soaps, uh, bar soaps, all those things. They make it all. Um, you can get virtually every one of their scents, every one of their fragrances in all of those products. And I really like that about this company. But I really like this company. I like what they're doing. And if you've watched any of my content, you know that I am a huge fan of this company. But today I wanted to talk to you about my three favorite old school scents or old school fragrances from this company. So let's jump into them. All right, so first on our list, and these are in no particular order, but first on our list is going to be John Frum. Um, it, I think it's a fantastic scent. It's one of those that has grown on me a lot more. I really like it more than I initially thought I did. Once I actually put it on and wore it, um, I'm really digging it. I like the smell. It's it's very old school. It very much reminds me of um, something maybe my grandfather would have worn, but it smells really good. It smells high dollar. It smells fantastic. It's just got that really cool old school uh, aftershave barbershop type scent. Uh, with each one of Phoenix's products, they have um, they have a graphic that goes with each product. Um, they're on you know the bottles, the the cologne bottles, the whatever product you get it in. It's got that same graphic on it. But John Frum, the graphic for John Frum is like this World War II uh, like fighter pilot or bomber pilot. Um, he's got his leather jacket on and that, that leather cap with the flaps coming down and his scarf. And it just looks really, really old school. It looks really cool. I, I like the graphic on it. But that's John from Fantastic Old School Scent. Coming in next is what I would call um, an old school, new school scent. Now, this probably is my favorite one out of these three uh, like I said, I call it an old school, new school. And what I mean by that is it's got characteristic, characteristics of an old school scent, but it's also got characteristics. Man, I can't talk today. It's also got characteristics of like a new school type scent. So it's it's got a, a real cool balance of both. I really enjoy this one, but this is Astro Planeta. Now Astro Planeta is now probably in my top five fragrances from this company. Um, it's bumped one of my, what I thought was one of my favorites out of my top five. Astro Planet has clawed its way in. Um, it is a fantastic scent. It's just, it's got a fresh scent to it, but it's got a little bit of that, that old school aftershave powdery barbershop smell with just a, a, a new flair on it. That's all I can say, but it is a fantastic, fantastic, uh, fragrance. Uh, the graphics on this bottle is cool too. It's like a, uh, it's like a um, lost in space um, robot looking character on the on the front of um, this fragrance. Uh, just really really cool. But it's it's in my top five as of right now. But that's Astra Planeta. All right. Last but not least is Hotel Cecil. So Hotel Cecil, I've become a huge fan of. Initially, I was like, it smells good, but you know, I kind of put it in that B tier of things that I would probably buy it at some point again or have some samples on hand to wear. But once I actually wore it, I, man, I fell in love with it even more. It smells fantastic. Um, it is an old school scent, but it's just a nice old school scent. A lot of those old school scents, in my opinion, um, you know, you grow up with your, your old spices and like London fog and Stetson and all those things where they're kind of nostalgic when we smell them, they're, they're, they're kind of cheap smelling in a way. And they're, they're, they're just, they're a little too much, a little too musky. Um, but Hotel Cecil is super nice. And now it is modeled after an old school scent, um, a product called Burma Shave. 
So the story behind Hotel Cecil, it is an actual hotel or was an actual hotel out in California. Um, it was one of those places, it was kind of a happening spot, but it smelled like Burma shave. Uh, when Hotel Cecil closed down, um, it sat for a while. They decided to reopen it and have this big grand reopening. And they kind of changed their minds on what they were going to do with it. Instead of reopening as a hotel, they've kind of made it um, as low-income apartment-style ho uh, hotel rooms. Um, or ho hotel-style apartments, however you want to look at it. Um, so it's kind of, I think it's income-based. Um, they even let, I think, some homeless people stay there for what they call a moderate fee. Uh, but that's kind of what Hotel Cecil is now. Now, supposedly Hotel Cecil is pretty haunted as well. There's a lot of story behind it. Um, to me, Hotel Cecil is kind of like the um, Hollywood Tower or Tower of Terror, if you've seen that at Disney. It's got kind of that same um, story behind it. Um, but the fragrance, like I said, they modeled it after Burma Shave, but man, it smells so good. It is just a fantastic smell. It It takes me back. Um, but gosh, it just smells so good. Uh, but that's Hotel Cecil. So those are my top three favorite old school scents from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, even though Astro Planeta is kind of a new school and old school blend, in my opinion. Uh, those are my top three. Go check out more stuff from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. They are fantastic guys. They've got some of the best fragrances, some of the best scent profiles I've come across from anywhere. They are fantastic. Fantastic, and they're they're reasonably priced in my opinion, but their their deodorants are fantastic, natural deodorants. Their bar soaps are fantastic. Their shaving soaps are some of the best out there. Uh, their colognes are fantastic. So go check them out. It's Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, aka Phoenix Shaving. There again, I'm Brandon Wren. Um, go check out some more of my content and stay tuned for more content. And I appreciate you guys watching.